A lot of moms who have a baby that's just a few months old start to notice that they are losing a ton of hair and it can be a little bit concerning. I remember going through this with my first and I actually broke one of the belts on our vacuum because I was losing so much hair. And so what causes this and is it normal? Um, it definitely is normal and actually moms with longer hair seem to notice it more, but it's due to estrogen levels actually. So about 85 to 90 percent of our hair is in the growing phase and that means that the rest of it is in a resting phase and hair that's in the resting phase after it's done resting falls out. So we normally lose about 50 to 100 hairs a day. But um, during pregnancy, estrogen levels rise and it prolongs the growing phase. So that means that there's fewer hairs in the resting phase and fewer hairs falling out. So a lot of women who are pregnant notice that their hair seems thicker and fuller and more luxurious. But then after you deliver your baby, your estrogen levels drop and, and this causes more of your hair to go into the resting phase. And that means you're going to lose a lot more hair. But don't worry. Don't panic because most moms notice that six to 12 months after their baby was born, their hair is back to normal. In that transition phase though, you can experiment with new hairdos and products that pump up the volume, maybe use mousse or something. Um, I remember I, I chopped my hair for a little bit just because it, when it was longer, it seemed more stringy when I was losing all the hair. So you can experiment with that and get you through that phase. One other thing to keep in mind is that even though hair loss might seem extreme to you, there are other health conditions that can cause you to lose an abnormal amount of hair. Like thyroid conditions can actually cause you to lose an abnormal amount. So if it feels like it's not slowing down when it should, like just a, you know, that six to 12 month period, or if you have other unusual symptoms that seem concerning to you, talk with your doctor and after asking you more specific questions, they'll decide a further investigation or treatment is necessary for thyroid problems, vitamin deficiencies, or other issues that might cause extreme hair loss. If you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.